I'm back in Dublin at historic Trinity College to check out one of the most famous biblical texts in the world, the Book of Kells. Trinity College was founded in 1592 by Queen Elizabeth I. It was modeled after the universities of Oxford and Cambridge in Britain. But unlike those other ancient universities, only one college was ever established here. So the designations Trinity College and University of Dublin are interchangeable. Trinity College is widely considered to be the most prestigious university in Ireland and among the most highly regarded in all of Europe. The Book of Kells takes its name from the Abbey of Kells, which was its home for centuries. But today it's here at the old library of Trinity College. The old library was constructed in the 18th century to house Trinity's massive collection. Upstairs is the famous Long Room, which displays 200,000 of the library's oldest books in these incredible oak bookcases. Downstairs is the Book of Kells exhibition, turning darkness into light. The highlight is the room known as the Treasury, where the actual Book of Kells and related manuscripts are on display. To preserve the Book of Kells, the library usually shows two of the four volumes at a time. The curators also rotate through one page of illustration and one page of text, so no page is exposed to the environment for very long. As a sensitive national treasure of Ireland, we can't film it, but I'm going down to take a look without the cameras. The Book of Kells is an illuminated manuscript containing the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. An illuminated manuscript is a handwritten copy of the text, decorated with colorful initials, borders, and illustrations. The Book of Kells was created in Ireland or England in about 800 AD by monks belonging to the Columba movement, which was directly influenced by Patrick. It was written in Latin, drawing from the Vulgate and other earlier texts, and is considered a masterpiece of Western calligraphy and biblical illumination. The Book of Kells is widely regarded as Ireland's finest national treasure. In the 12th century, the historian Gerald of Wales called it, quote, the work of an angel, not of a man. One of the most revered pages of illustration illuminates the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18. In Latin, the verse begins, this is how Christ came to be born. The illustration page is crafted almost entirely around the name of Christ or more specifically, the traditional abbreviation using the Chi Rho symbol. Chi and Rho are two letters of the Greek alphabet, the first two letters of Christ. Chi is written as an X, Rho is roughly a P. Remember, this was hand drawn in about 800 AD. The Greek letters almost appear to float on the page. Oh, hi. It's TV's Dave Stotts, and I'm here to tell you to hit the thing and the thing and make sure you ring the, the thing for more of drive-through history because that's what we all need.